Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Dan Lloyd's Barbados Travel Vlogs. This evening again, I'm at Grand View Heights, Shop Hill, St. Thomas, which overlooks majority of the island. Right now, I'm looking at Shop Hill Road. The road that leads to Shot Hill and I'm overlooking Edge Hill Heights which is just below me and you can see into the parish of St. George where you can see the St. George Valley, St. George is another central parish and you can see the Roberts Manufacturing all the way estate St. George you can see all across the layers where you will find the Chaffet Warehouse which is called Chef Foods Limited it manufactures all the food to take to the very respective restaurant, the Chaffet restaurants. You can see all the layers, Kenwood Road, Lower Estate. You can see all down to the Williams Industries at Kean Garden, St. Thomas. This is the Williams Complex where you will find BRC, which is the best roof cover, Williams Metals and Williams Electrical, and the newly built Williams Stoller Farm, and the Lester Brown Secondary School next door, all in the parish of St. Thomas. And this is Shop Hill Road here again, and this is all Ground View Heights once again. And we are looking into the Warrens area. Yes, guys, we are looking into the Warrens business and commercial area, which is just one kilometer away from where I'm standing at. You can see the the, top, the um the big buildings in the Warrens area. The Warrens is a city away from the city. The Warrens area started to develop sometime in the late 90s, in the mid 90s into the early 2000s, somewhere around there, is when the Warrens area started to develop. Where lots of businesses were moving out of town into the Warrens area, into the area. So you can see. The Boabab Towers, the two the, the two ends of the Boabab Towers, the one to the eastern end and the one to the western end. You can see the Unemployment Bureau and the Williams Towers, which is the head office for the cell. You can also see the Massey Stores and the New Republic Bank, all in the Warrens area. You can see into Bridgestone as well, which is the country's capital, where you will see the Central Bank of Barbados and the Hilton Hotel as well. St. Thomas is in the center of the island along with the parish of St. George. So there is no sea nor coastline in these parishes. St. Thomas and St. George are the two landlocked parishes. And this is the most developed part of the parish of St. Thomas. <coughs> so this is the closest to a drone shot you will ever get of Barbados because drones are illegal and they are banned here in Barbados. Only certain personnel can use them and they have to have permission from the authorities to use drones here in Barbados. So, this is the closest to a drone shot I was give you guys. We're looking more central now. We will come across the new district the police station, which is also in King Gardens and Thomas, just past Lestavon School. And you can also see the Bees Recycling Company, which is a bottling, which recycles bottles. And again, we are looking to the south of the island, where you will come across the parish of Christchurch. So we are looking southwards right now to the parish of Christchurch. Yes, guys. This is Grand View Heights. Yeah. This is Grand View Heights, Shop Hill, St. Thomas. And St. Thomas has lots of has hill formations, 
similar to those in Portland and St. Anne Parish in Jamaica. St. Thomas is also a rural parish. But it's just that this part of the parish is more developed than the rest of it. Overlooking Edge Hill Heights again. Uh, Overlook Edge Hill Heights is in the parish of St. Thomas. We will also find the Earthworks Pottery as well. The Earthworks Pottery is at Edge Hill Heights in St. Thomas. And this is all ground view heights here. So of course, those who live up top here, up in here, will get a better view, especially those that live in that two-story house, will get a better view of the island. So this, this point gives, this vantage point gives awesome views of the east central south um the bit of the western end of the island as well. Yes please. Overlooking King and Garda St. Thomas where you will come across the new district the police station which relocated from Rock Hall. And it was temporarily in Whole Town St. James. I know they built this new structure here in Kean Garden, St. Thomas. And next door would be the bees recycling plant, which recycles bottles. The bees bottling company. And we can see all across the St. George, which is another central parish. You will come across the St. George Valley and Roberts Manufacturing. Roberts Manufacturing is in, is in Lower Estate, St. George. And you will be looking to cross the layers Layers is just when you pass Lower Estate, heading towards King Garden, St. Thomas, we will come across a dwellings department store and Layers, and you will also come across Chef Foods, which is your manufacturing, which is your warehouse for Chefette restaurant. It manufactures the food to take to the respective Chefette restaurants. So Chef Foods is in Layers, St. Michael. Which, and it manufactures the food to take to the restaurant, the Chafet restaurants. Chafet is exclusive to Barbados, even though it is not a Barbadian owned restaurant. A Trinidadian guy owns it by the name of Asad John Hallow, but it is, it is exclusive to Barbados and it was established in 1972. The first Chafet restaurant was in Harbour Road, which is in Bridgetown, the western end of Bridgetown. Again, we're overlooking the Warrens area. Bridgetown, and you can see straight into the Bridgetown port and deep water harbor. And we are, uh, we are looking westward again, where you will see the power shop St. James. You will come across you know, University Hillside and one state and that area in that part of St. James. Edge Hill Heights once again and Edge, Edge Hill Heights and Terrace. You're overlooking the parish of St. Thomas and we can see a bit of the east as well which is contains the which comprises of the parish of St. Philip. You can see a part of St. Philip here close to the prison site. And you can see all into Christ Church where the airport is. And all in the parish of St. George, which is the center of the island. And we are looking again into the capital city of Bridgetown. Where you will see the Central Bank of Barbados, the Bridgetown port. You can see a bit of the south coast as well. In the parish of Christ Church. We are looking southwards again. We are looking southwards right now. And we can see the Hilton Hotel. Which is but one of Barbados' top class hotels. This is situated along the southwest coast of Barbados, overlooking the Williams Complex, owned by Carl Williams' his brother, Ralph Busy Williams. And you can and next door will be the newly built Solar Williams Solar Farm. And then next door will be the last of one Memorial Secondary School. All in the parish of St. Thomas. As I said before, this is one of the most developed parts of the parish of St. Thomas. So 
but from here we can see the parishes of St. Thomas, St. George, St. Michael, Christ Church, a part of St. Philip, and a bit of St. James as well. Again, we are looking at the roadside, which is, which is Shot Hill Road, the road leading to Shot Hill. This is the road that you will use if you're going to the dump, the way a stack of vault loose, or if you're going to Mount Hillaby, which is the highest point in Barbados. Yes, you're looking at the Warrens area again. Warrens is just one kilometer away from where I am standing at. Warrens is on the border with the parish of St. Thomas and St. Michael. You can see the big buildings, the Boabab Towers, the Williams Building, which is the head office for Tizi Cell in Barbados. And you can see the massive stores and the unemployment bureau and so on, all in Warrens. Yes, yes. I'm at Grandview Heights, Shop Hill, St. Thomas. This is the closest to a drone shop you will ever get of Barbados. You can see a bit of the south coast and the west coast from here as well. And they're looking at the roadside again. Along Shop Hill Road. And this is Edge Hill Heights. And this is the Warren's business and commercial area, which is a city away from the city. So most businesses have been moving out of town into the Warren's area, starting from the late 80s to the 90s and into the early 2000s. So Warren's has changed from an agriculture area to a business and commercial area. Come back at the King Garden area again, we will find the district, the police station and the bees recycling company. We are looking at the last of one secondary school, the Williams Solar Farm, and the Williams Industries. We're looking all into the central parish of St. George as well, and into the parish of Christ Church, which is the south of the island. So thank you guys for watching, and have a blessed evening.